back to my new subscribers and new returning uh, and they're the returning one and if there are any new viewers watching this I'm very tired today so if I sound a bit off that's why uh, it was a tough night shift uh, but I got through it and I had some nice sleep and uh, I just wanted to diamond paint today, relax, since my mind is all mushy. And I've done quite a bit of progress uh, on this and the round drills are very fun and easy to to do. Uh, let's see, we do F12. Uh, but yeah, um, today I was thinking I maybe I could talk about the nickname I have, or the name I have for the channel, Hoya Bella. And I'm not sure how many knows, but it's a Latin name for a flower. Or a, yeah, a flower. And I'm gonna show a picture up here, because I'm very bad at explaining what type of flower it is, but it is tropical. That's about what I know, and it was actually my mother that helped me pick this nickname way back in the two thousand, in the beginning of two thousand or tw uh, when I was gonna create an, on an online account to be able to play on the Xbox uh, three hundred and sixty that got out. And since then I have used this nickname in many different occasions. And uh, I like it. It's uh, simple. And uh, well it can be dif difficult to pronounce since it's a Latin name. But every uh, I accept being called, it's being called Bella or Hoya or Hoya Bella as long and many um, pronounce it the right at the first try. Uh, so but yeah that's the story for how my channel name came about. And uh, it was, yeah, as I said, it was my mother that introduced me to the world of gaming and computers. Um, and it's been very, and it's, uh, I'm happy that she did. And let's see, this was 12. This painting, the lion one I'm doing now, has more confetti than I thought it would have, but it's not too bad. Um, I still enjoy it very much. Let's see what is K. And I usually save the bigger blocks with a lot of numbers for last. Um, and do the confetti first, just to... I don't know, be done with it, I guess. And this was K. So I noticed that um, today in the United States, I guess, um, it's Mother's Day today and I hope everyone have a great Mother's Day. Actually, here in Sweden, Mother's Day isn't in in is in the last weekend or last Sunday of May, so in two weeks' time. I'm not sure why we have it on a different date. Uh, it feels like that could be a holiday everyone has in common on the same day. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking the camera when I'm shaking the pen. Sorry. But yeah, and I, I'm not sure. Um, 
why but and uh, I'm thinking I should give my mother something so when I'm done with this painting I think I might pick out one of the others I have and make it for her in frame she's not much for gifts uh, but yeah I'll, I'll do it uh, a small one anyway she can't protest against Let's see R And I think this new setup I'm using with the webcam and uh, the computer program recording this is work working quite nicely. Um, I'm just trying now to figure out if uh, when or when I'm streaming it on Twitch uh, doing this, what how I should set it up. Uh, I have a few ideas lined up with a cell phone app on my Android to connect it to the computer as a webcam and then but that will draw a lot of battery from the mobile so I need to figure out how to stay it plugged in so the battery don't <laughs> die too fast yeah there is um, but it's fun to have this type of problem solving things to do sometimes. It's just today I'm a bit too tired. So it's uh, here in Sweden right now. It's almost half past seven in the evening. And it's actually finally came some uh, rain today. Uh, which is nice to get all the uh, the pollen um, uh, pollen. I think it's called something similar in English. I'm forgetting my words. And the birds are totally crazy outside singing as loudly as they can. Some people like it, uh, find it, it's alright. Not at 5 in the morning maybe when I want to sleep. And one of the birds starts singing right outside the window. And then I'm, I'm not a very uh, bird loving person. I don't like to be w woken up like that. Uh, Well, and another thing I've been thinking about, I'm not sure how many knows it went, but the Sweden National Day, or what do you call it, National Holiday that we have in June, actually doesn't have, so that date, the 6th of June, doesn't have any historical like really weight or meaning that I know of um, at the top of my head I was it, it something happened but it was like a minor thing and we shows like okay that can be our national day uh, holiday um, but uh, no one here in Sweden really celebrates it very big we might put many might put up a flag or raise raise a flag in the in their yard, but that's about it. Uh, you get extra paid when you work, or many get their uh, days off work uh, since it's uh, a bank holiday as well. And a funny trivia, the national anthem, or the song we use as a national anthem, is actually not, of, it's not official, uh, because our government haven't, um, 
what do you call it, haven't uh, like written it into law or something like that, not law, haven't recognized it as their national anthem because our government has to do that and no one has. So we're singing it and it's playing at full, uh, all the sports events, but officially it's actually not our national anthem uh, in, in the official sense, which I find quite uh, funny. It's, it's like typical s s s Swedish, uh, I think. And yeah, that's uh, so we do things kind of backward, backwards here sometimes. But there are a lot of good things as well. I wouldn't want to grow up anywhere else, I think. Uh, why? And I am drawing a blank on what to talk about. And so I've missed an R that I was doing before. That seems like a classical one. When I'm doing, uh, looking for the letters and I'm like, okay, okay, now I can't find any. I go on to the next letter and then the, the previous one pops out like, here I am. And there I found another one. Data six, okay. Sorry for the snivels, my nose is still runny. The birch trees uh, here in Sweden are starting to bloom, and my nose hates that. It looks pretty, but it makes my nose all uh, runny. Captain, Psst. stop it, sluta. Ja du ja, legist. I'm calling him a gangster. He's uh, clawing at the um, doorpost. Cool. Oh Jesus! Sorry, no. Oh, sorry, Captain. Why do they do this? Why have furniture when they gotta top them over? Sorry, I was. That usually happens. I start talking to one cat and all three go crazy. Like, oh, you're talking. Why? What? What is it now? And I dropped my pen on the floor. <sighs> Sorry about this chaos. Uh... And now the little lady Isis here wanted to cuddle in my lap a bit. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stop here for now. This will be a short one since I'm a bit tired and I need to fix the furniture uh, my cat toppled over. It was a you know, cat clawing post they toppled over. Ah, you gotta love pets. They never keep your life boring. And actually they are more than pets to me. They are my babies or my family members. They are essential to my life uh, but yeah sorry to get a bit emotional there thank you all for watching and i hope you have a great weekend and my happy mother's day to all the mothers out there and uh, t t take care of each other sorry this is hard with a cat in the lap that i'll go to <laughs> sorry bye bye